Hello students, in the last video we have studied a vacuum gauge known as hot cathode ionization gauge. In hot cathode ionization gauge you know that there is a limitation for measurement of vacuum towards a low level of pressure of about 10 raised to minus 8 tar. So this limitation is because of the production of x-rays. So you know that at uh, lower pressures the number of gas molecules are less and therefore the electron uh, which is produced at the filament will be accelerated towards the anode directly and it undergoes very less number of collision or the possibility of collisions is less and therefore x-rays are produced. So the current that is produced is because of x-rays and that leads to the wrong uh, measurement of the uh, pressure and that limits uh, to up to 10 raised to minus 8 uh, tar. Okay, so uh, the solution is uh, actually uh, found by a pair of scientists Bayard and Alpert by uh, inventing another type of uh, ionization gauge that is known as Bayard Alpert ionization gauge. So let us see now what is this Bayard Alpert ionization gauge. So as I have told you the uh, triode ionization gauge has limitation at low pressure to 10 raised to minus 8 tor because of the x-ray radiation resulting from electron bombardment of the anode. So in 1950 Bayard and Alpert uh, they have reported a new configuration for the ionization gauge that substantially reduced the X-ray current. So because of this new uh, configuration of ionization gauge, the X-ray current has been substantially reduced and the limit in this to minus 8 tor that has been further increased. So they found that the large area ion collector provides a high efficiency collector for the X-rays. So what was wrong in hot cathode triode type of ionization gauge? So in triode type of ionization gauge, uh, you know that the area of ion collector that is too large, area of ion collector is too large and because of this large area of ion collector, the x-rays they are collected very efficiently. So high efficiency uh, collection for the x-rays and therefore this, this limitation is there in the triad type of ionization gaze. So because of this, this particular uh, observation or this what we call as a fault in the designing, uh, what they uh, thought that the collection efficiency of x-rays could be made very small by keeping the filament outside of the grid and by having fine wire ion collector in the center. So the area of ion collector that, that has been decreased. So instead of selecting a, a plate or an electrode with large area, what they have selected they have selected a very fine wire as a ion collector at the center of the device. And second thing, what they did is that the uh, filament from where the electrons are emitted, the, that particular filament is kept outside of the grid. Okay, So by keeping the filament outside of the grid, and by having a very fine wire ion collector, they found that the X-ray collection efficiency has been made very small. So later on we shall discuss more about these two points okay, from the diagram. Okay, so uh, let us see now the actual uh, mechanism or the actual design of this new ionization gaze designed by Baird and Alpert. So this is the diagram. You can see this uh, new Baird and Alpert ionization gaze which uh, removes those particular technical faults and increases the limit, avoids the high x-ray uh, current 
uh, at the uh, plates or in the meter the current has been reduced and further the limit is improved here okay so uh, in this particular design you will see that the electron collection gun okay so th these are cylindrical electron collection gun so electrons are collect collected at this cylindrical electron collection gun you can see this is kept at high positive potential and the centrally placed very thin wire it act as a ion collector you can see fine wire ion collector this centrally placed very thin uh, wire is there so how much thin you can see here the ion collector is made up from about 0.1 millimeter wire so the diameter of the wire is 0.1 millimeter and you know that this this particular centrally placed wire uh, it is kept at uh, the negative potential so ions can be collected and the current that we measure through this meter is the current because of the uh, collection of ions at this negative electrode okay one more thing uh, you will notice that the filament it is totally outside of this particular grid of the electron collection gun you can see this this is electron collection gun so both the electrodes this positive electrode uh, which collects the electron and this negative electrode which collects the ions so within this region outside this region we have this uh, hot electron emitter emitter that means the filament is kept outside this so what is the advantage the advantage is that the electrons once emitted you can see here through the spaces through the spaces when they travel towards this this particular cylindrical electron collection gun what happens they will undergo collision with the gas molecules they will undergo collision with the gas molecules and because of that because of that the ionization of the gas molecules will take place but immediately they will be they will be collected and since this this is outside the possible chances of striking the electron without collision with the gas molecules onto the electrode and producing x-rays that has been tremendously reduced here okay so that is the advantage of this type of design having the filament outside and since the area of this particular uh, ion collector wire is very very small so there is less possibility that even though few x-ray photons are produced or the x-ray uh, whatever the current that is produced because of x-rays that that will simply reduce here so this is this is what the uh, the particular uh, design here so the x-ray limit it is found to be reduced by almost three orders of magnitude that means up to 2 into 10 raise to minus 11 tor so earlier it was 10 raise to minus 8 so it goes up to 10 raise to minus 11 so by three orders 10 raise to minus 8 to 10 raise to minus 11 tor so that is the advantage of this particular design just merely making the changes keeping the uh, filament outside and having a very small area of the ion collector electrode so this new design is specifically uh, can be used for measurement of pressure uh, of the order of up to 2 raised 2 into 10 raised to minus 11 tor now uh, there are some uh, features associated with this Bayard Alford ionization gaze so the main feature is that the non-linear behavior of this this particular gauge uh, at high pressure it is due to ion space charge developed around the collector wire ion collector wire so at a very high pressure high pressure means towards the lower vacuum side towards the lower vacuum side you know that the vacuum level is low that means here for example high vacuum means this 2 into 10 raise to minus 11 so if you come to 10 raise to minus 5 or 10 raise to minus 4 that will be high pressure as compared to this so at such a, a low level of vacuum that means at higher pressure the number of gas molecules will be large here so 
what will happen this ions sorry the electrons will striking more number of uh, gas molecules producing large number of positive ions so large number of positive ions they are accumulated here and therefore uh, the positive space charge region is developed around this collector wire and newly produced ions because of this positive charge they will be repelled away or they will not easily reach uh, instantaneously reach to the uh, this ion uh, collector at the center of this particular device so because of this positive space charge there will be non linearity observed in the behavior of baird alpert gauge now uh, one important parameter the ratio of ion current to electron current it is dependent on six different variable ion current that means the number of ions produced and the electron current that means whatever the number of electrons available number of electrons available from the filament so this ratio so you know that what does this indicate this ratio the ratio of ion current to electron current indicates how many collisions have successfully produced the ionization how many collisions of the electrons have successfully produced the ionization of the gas molecule so ionization process depends on certainly some parameter so therefore this ratio of the current of ion current to electron current that also depends on these several parameters so the six parameters which are important here let us see what are these parameters so first of all the gas density so gas density obviously very important because the number of gas molecules will be decided by this parameter and therefore more is the number of gas uh, molecules more will be the possibility of ionization then gas composition gas composition means which particular gas molecules are present okay different gas molecules they have different ionization potential so whether the electron energy is sufficient to ionize that gas molecule or not if the ionization potential is very large for the gas species present inside the chamber where you are going to measure the pressure with your ionization gauge and at that time your electron energy is less then there will be no ionization so this ratio will be affected the ionic current to the electron current that ratio will be affected by gas composition also okay so then next is the electron path length okay electron path length means how far the electron travel a distance inside this this particular chamber and more is the distance that means more is the path length there will be possibility of more number of uh, collisions that means the possibility of ionization increases and therefore the path length is also important parameter then electron energy so whatever the potentials you have applied to the uh, this electron collection gun the high uh, positive potential so that will decide uh, the energy of the electron so how far the electron is uh, accelerated so that means the kinetic energy of the electron will increase and that will also decide because when electron energy is higher whatever the gas species if the ionization potential comes in the range of that electron energy then definitely it will be ionized then ion collection efficiency next parameter is ion collection efficiency so ion collection efficiency at it is actually a factor related to the potentials applied to the ion collector then the the design of the ion collector uh, electrode the area of the ion collector electrode and all that so that is uh, deciding this ion collection efficiency and next one that is the electron collection efficiency again the uh, the the design of that particular electron collection gun and the potentials that are applied to the electron collection guns all these these parameters they are deciding the electron collection efficiency so these these six parameters are very important that will decide the ratio of ion current to electron current in baird alpert ionization gauge okay now uh, there are some limitations of this baird alpert ionization gauge also so it is observed that this gauge shows anomalous behavior when operated at pressures below 10 raised to minus 7 torr with gases containing oxygen so specifically when 
oxygen is present inside the chamber then you will find that when you are trying to measure the pressures or when you are using this this particular gauge for measurement of a pressure below 10 raised to minus 7 tar tor and if oxygen species is present then definitely there will be a non-linear behavior or anomalous behavior of this bared alpert gauge anomalous means very uncertain uh, behavior of this particular bared alpert gauge so why this is so this is because the adsorption of gas on the grid structure so these oxygen molecules they, they will be adsorbed on the grid structure and when they are adsorbed these gas molecules they are not available for the actual ionization process but later on they will be dissolved so desorption so when the pressure level changes the subsequent desorption of the gas oxygen gas molecules as ions by electron impact okay so subsequent desorption of the oxygen as ions by electron impact so at certain other pressure these oxygen molecules will be dissolved again once again and they will be available in the inside the chamber for the ionization process so they will be tra uh, tra transformed into positive ions because of the electron impact that means collision with the uh, electron and then suddenly you will find that the ion current will increase so ion current is fluctuating when oxygen species are present so this is the anomalous behavior and this is certainly you can say this is a typical limitation of using bare alpert ionization gaze when you have oxygen uh, species present inside the chamber so this is what uh, a typical bared alpert ionization gaze so in this way we have seen uh, completed the study of uh, different types of uh, ionization gaze we have studied at least uh, five different types of uh, ionization uh, gauges uh, the macleod gaze then the pirani gaze paining gaze then the triad type hot cathode ionization gaze and this bared alpert ionization gaze so all these particular ionization gauges have a certain uh, merits or demerits and they have different range of uh, pressure measurement and therefore according to the need of your system they can be used for measurement of the vacuum